10 News starts right now. Hello. My name is Nick, and I'm going to be the next school shooter of 2018. Location is Stone Douglas in Parkland, Florida. You just heard a clip of bone-chilling cell phone video recorded by Nicholas Cruz, the Stoneman Douglas shooter. In this cell phone video, Cruz details how he will carry out the shooting and even how many people he was planning to kill. Our Louis Aguirre joining us live now from Parkland to show us more of this disturbing video. Louis. Calvin Laurie, this has been a very difficult story to report on tonight because we know just how painful this is for our South Florida neighbors who are still recovering, still healing from the tragic events that took place here at the school back in February. So we want to warn those viewers that they might want to step away from the TV at this time. But that being said, we've been very sensitive to edit out the most disturbing parts of these videos that will be used by the prosecution to prove their case that as they allege the shooter was in his right mind when he carried out this attack and that he planned it in advance. Location is Stone Douglas in Parkland, Florida. Chilling cell phone video released by prosecutors that may help them prove their case that 19-year-old Nicholas Cruz knew what he was doing and that he meticulously planned it before he carried out his terror with an AR-15 on Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High that February 14th. And I'm going to go take an Uber in the afternoon before 2.40. From there, I'll go into the uh, to school campus, walk up the stairs, load my bags, and get my AR and shoot people. When it was over, 14 students and three educators were dead. 17 others were injured. The shooter faces the death penalty if convicted of first-degree murder, which requires prosecutors prove the crime was premeditated. For Lori Alhadef, whose daughter Alyssa was killed, the video speaks for itself. He planned it. He, I think that he he knew exactly what he was doing. He he knew what weapon he was going to use. At least one of the three videos released appears to have been recorded on the day of the attack. Today is the day. The day that it all begins. In one video, the shooter says that right now he is nothing, that his life is meaningless, but only vaguely hints at his motive. I had enough of being telling me that I'm an idiot and a dumbass. The video has been shared on social media with many of the Parkland kids blasting its release. Emma Gonzalez tweeting, I've been off Twitter for a couple of days. First thing I see when I log back in is the person who killed my friends. Please do us a favor and listen to us when we say we don't want his face plastered everywhere we look. Thank you and have a good night because none of us will be. And that's been pretty much the tone that uh, of the response that we've received here in Parkland this evening. People are very upset. Those videos are out there. They don't want to give the shooter any more notoriety. They want the attention back on the victims, back on the victims' families. But uh, again, this video was shared by the prosecution as part of Discovery, where they are forced to share the evidence they have against the accused with the defense. And in Florida, evidence that is shared in Discovery does become public record, and that is why that video was released today. Lori Calvin, back to you. Our Louis Aguirre in Parkland. Louis, thanks.